And then, of course, the industrial clusters through special economic zones. We are working on them. Some have moved ahead. Others are a little bit slow. But we are now specially concentrating on our special economic zones. And where do we want Chinese investment? We would love them. We would want Chinese investors to come. I've met this morning very, very powerful Chinese investors, some already there and some who want to expand their investment. So I've met them. And I must say, I was very happy this morning with the quality of investors we have. So we, we will facilitate them. But the sectors we want Chinese investment is number one, textile, because Pakistan is one of the uh, biggest producers of cotton, manufacturing, IT and financial services. We would like your people to come and help us there. Physical and technological logistics, food processing and agriculture, tourism and hospitality. Pakistan is one of the most untapped tourist potential places in the world. We have out of the six, uh, out of the uh, uh, 12 or 13 highest peaks, over 24,000 in the world, six are in Pakistan. Pakistan's northern areas are the, twice the size of Switzerland, and it has diversity, different mount, types of mountains. It has desert, it has plains, it has 1,000 kilometers of uh, sea coast. So it, has, it is very diverse a country which is not untapped for tourism so far. Secondly, Pakistan is one of the most, uh, for religious tourism, it is one of the most uh, sought after place for Buddhism. It was one of the centers of Buddhism. Texala was one of the centers of Buddhism. Um, then for Sikhism, then for Hinduism, uh, and then even for Christians, it has the highest number of church, churches in a non-Muslim, uh, in a non-Christian uh, city. Um, plus, Pakistan is one of the, well, I can't say this here because China is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. But compared to the other countries in the world, Pakistan is one of the oldest countries with a 5,000 years old Indus Valley civilization. Um, housing, we are just starting on one of the most ambitious plans of housing in Pakistan. Uh, we have decided to build five million houses in uh, five years. Uh, Pakistan has a huge shortage of houses. We have, we have at least a demand of uh, 10 million houses right now. So we, there's a big shortage. So we are trying to build in the next five years uh, five million houses and affordable houses for, for people who can uh, who, who cannot uh, buy uh, expensive houses. So we would uh, appreciate, we would invite Chinese investment there. And then oil and gas. In oil and gas, we have uh, huge areas which uh, they, we haven't had. Because of policies that discouraged drilling, we haven't had uh, much uh, uh, interest in there because now we have initiated policies for, for companies to come and drill in oil and gas. And then, of course, we, uh, one of the biggest copper and gold reserves. We have big uh, coal reserves in Pakistan in, in, in uh, Thar. So uh, we already have Chinese companies in both, in, in, in gold as well as in coal. Se security situation in Pakistan has improved. There was a time when people were scared to come to Pakistan because of our security situation. Thanks to our intelligence agencies, our security forces, Pakistan is now one of the safest places. And so that no, no longer is the issue. But we have specially created security forces to protect our Chinese workers there. So for Chinese, we have actually cr created a special force so that, you know, to provide them extra security. Uh, a liberal, uh, our visa regime. We have liberalized our visa regime. For Chinese nationals, they can actually come and get visa at the airport. This was not the case before we had a very difficult visa regime. So that has been, that has been eased up. And it is also for 70 other countries, we have uh, allowed them to come and get visas at the airport. 
Uh, all the major cities of Pakistan are connected with air routes now. This is now exactly where China was in 1978. This is where Pakistan is now. It's a great time to come and invest in the country. Uh, our labor cost, as uh, my Minister of Commerce said, our labor cost is only about 20 percent, 20 percent of what is, what is the labor cost in China. So it, it, there is a comparative advantage now. We have, uh, uh, of course, developing the free trade, uh, trade agreement with China now to the next phase. We are developing that further. And uh, Pakistan, of course, the, because of its location, it gives uh, Chinese companies coming into Pakistan to re-export from Pakistan. It's much easier, bearing in mind the trade restrictions right now on Chinese goods. So finally, this is a great opportunity. I have specially come here, uh, especially here, I came here today to talk to the uh, Chinese investors. This is the time to come to our country. And I, from me, as the Prime Minister, I can assure you that the Prime Minister's office will be dealing with all the major investors in our country. And CPAC will be dealt again from the Prime Minister's office, so to make it easy for you to invest there and to remove all hurdles that are in your way. It's an exciting time in Pakistan because as we open up our country for business, it is a great opportunity for people to come and invest. And as we change the mindset in Pakistan, we want businesses to come and make money. We want businesses to come to China and make big profits so that the more profits you make, we feel that more investors will come to Pakistan. Our main aim is that as we create wealth in our country,